This is February 23rd, 2014, an inventory shoot here at FMI, the base specialty shop. This one here is a carved top Milano, very nicely flamed sides and back. Spiral core strings on it. This one is a Milano with uh, faux flaming ebony fingerboard. model. Lovely. This is a 48K, I believe it is. Been uh, been <laughs> around a bit. Anyhow, it's... Got the K sound. Big sound. This is a 5H Christopher 102 series. 102 model number. Selling 5 8 base. This is 1986. What is this thing? Emmanuel Wilfer. Yeah. Alright, 1986 Emmanuel Wilfer. All laminated. Big belt buckle rash. In pin plugs, pop it loose. Okay, and this is a painted removable neck Milano base. It's ready for the show, ready for the road. Take it apart to uh, travel. With a little light on it. You can see the glistening. Well, I don't know if it'll show on this camera. But in uh, person, it's gorgeously glowing glitter finish under the lights. It's got a Rillis Lifeline pickup on, pick on it right now and a K&K Bass Max. Try them both out. Anyhow, it's all laminated base. Remove the neck. Got a set of Innovation Ultra Blacks on it. Right here is a Shin SB80 that we've converted to a removable neck. Bolted in from the back. Can't get base max pickup on it, spiral core strings, the all laminated SB80 shin. And we've glued the sound post in place for trouble free traveling with it. This is a 41K5 string. We still need to go through and clean this one up and put a better bridge on it and the right kind of strings for really hearing it. It's got nylon core super needles on it now. Choice base, a 1960 King Morton. Really in great shape. New ebony fingerboard. Uh, new setup. Nice base. The uh, decals are still in excellent condition on the back and the tailpiece down there. Alright, and here's the Christopher. 304 series. 304 means carved top with Bucetto corners there. Big sounding base. And around here is a 57 King Mortone that we need to uh, get a bridge on again. We have the neck converted to removable. Both on through the top. And we got the tuning machine gear fixed. The elephant ear was broken off. That is properly fixed now. This thing's rough looking, but it's solid. And, uh, yeah, somebody's gonna enjoy playing that. And this is an Epiphone that uh, needs to be strung up. We need to make a bridge for it. Uh, we have the nut, let's put it back on it. But it's an Epiphone. It's gonna be a good sounding bass, I'm sure. This one's a 41K. Front been hit with fingernails a lot, looks like. And uh, it's in good shape overall. The body's a little rough on the edges. 
And neck hill's loose, there's a little gapping in it. We're gonna get that out. And I'm considering making it removable neck so it can be removable neck. And that's a Palatino removable neck in the corner there. And we have some in the white bases that we ordered. This is a regular fixed neck, straight ahead. And then we have removable neck in progress. And uh, those are handy travel bases. And here's a plywood Chinese made base. It's got a decade or two on it. And we did a fix up of all the nicks and niggles and things and repainted it for a guy. He needs to come get it picked up. Here's a Milano MB40 that needs to be run through the setups. It's strung up, ready to play. And we have a couple of Palatino electric upright bases, the VE500 three-tone sunburst. This is a six-string Ergo base. And we have a couple of carved body electric uprights by Universal. They quit making them. So we got the last few they had in the country. This one's still got the magnetic pickups and the piezo under the bridge. Makes a nice sound. You blend that magnetic and the piezo together. Nice. We got another one of them. All solid carved woods, no magnetic, just the piezo. I'm going to try some more different piezos in that bridge to uh, bring out a stronger piezo amplified bass sound. Here's a travel case, lightweight travel case for removal neck upright. This makes an easy handle size case. Take the neck off of a base, put everything away in the case, there you go. And this one here is a big old gorgeously flamed 4-4 size body, uh, 42 inch scale, so it's really a 3 quarter inch scale base, big body, big sound. Great jazz or orchestral bass, it's a Milano, all solid carved. And here's an all solid carved Christopher, 404 model, this set of corners. He look for orchestral strings. Found that good pluck, but we'll do it anyhow. Bowed, get a much better sound out of it. Here's a half size Milano MB12. Nice for half size bass. Here's another three-quarter Milano MB40, Ebony Fingerboard. Here's a synthetic gut strung up Milano MB40. And here's a 1949K. Here more for the Maestro Violin Corners. He's got a few pickups in it to try out. The wood tone and the bass max. And it's got a set of Innovation Super Silver Strings on it. This is one we had on loan to Poor Man's Poison for a little while. We're doing some fix up on it. The saddle come loose. And uh, we're going to get back to them pretty soon. Anyhow, I'll just put a little more over here. It's another Milano MB40. Here's a Milano MB40 that we got in the white, which means no finish. And we did a blonde stain and an oil finish. Set screw with a tension adjuster screw on it. And guitar. 
And here's our 200 something year old three string bass. We just put a four string bridge on it so we could string it up and hear it after we got it. Three strings made that way, way back in the 1700s estimated. ABG, strong up. This is quite an interesting looking bass. It's got nails all around the edges. Where it was whatever repaired. Interesting piece. And this is a 38K. I'm going to look at stripping and refinishing this one so it'll look its best. We got uh, some of the wood fixed up around the edges where it's been broken away. So this one's going to look very, very nicely set up, restored when we're done. Nice 38K. Well, this model, one of them. Alright, and it's a quarter size lightweight hard case. What I want to do is convert a quarter size base to removable neck, chop this case down, and rig up a really small acoustic travel base for somebody. That'll be fun. This is another half size base. with a little spark on the finish. We wreck a pro electric green strings. Not in tune right now. It's got a wood tone pickup in it. We're testing that to see how it sounds. For slapping, it sounds pretty good. And then we got a few cellos here. Upright bass is our main thing, but we have a few cellos. Including this one, 120 year old piece. It's got machine pegs, tuning gears. One of them's cracked off and missing. But we'll get this thing run through the setups one of these days. I have a 120 something year old cello ready to play. Whatever sounds sweet. Alright, that's it for now.